Well, Jay, you know, I'm such a steam guy. <laughs> My best friend around steam. You'll see massive amounts of gasoline go in there oh. in a minute. Oh, great. No, steam is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. You're the steam guy. Well, I love steam. Now, now, if you look here, before there was Batman, before there was Superman, before there was Iron Man, there was Steam Man. That's 1860. Steam that's, Man? That's the first American really? superhero comic book character. So that one just created for your... No, no, that, that's, that's, that was the first American... Superhero. Superhero, yeah, yeah. But this one here, this is the white 40 horse. This was the first White House car, the first military car. They built 10,000 Whites, but they only built 3,000 Stanleys. But there are more Stanleys around because the Whites had so much precious aluminum and, and high-quality steel and aluminum. Were they scrapped out? They all got scrapped out oh during the war effort, now, yeah. Now, this, is, this was not your first White. This is No, almost... I've got other Whites here. I've got the 20-horse model and a 30-horse model. But I always wanted one of these. This is 1909. Steam was pretty much done by 11. 10 was the last year of steam for yeah. the white company. Then they went to uh, gasoline cars. But it's originally the white sewing machine company. That's where it runs like a sewing machine comes from. Oh, really? Uh, and we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll push this out to the door, and we'll fire it up, and we'll show you how it goes. I think you'll be amazed at how quiet well, and smooth and how much power there is in this thing. It takes about 10 minutes to start it. But comparing that to cranking, yeah. you know, 50 weight oil and cold weather and sending a choke and sending a mag and possibly breaking your arm, it's not that bad a trade-off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll push it out. We'll show you what we, what right. we have to do here. Looks like a pretty, pretty good sized car to push, but here we go. Not that bad. Well, it's not that bad. I feel like Steam Man. I know. They could use Steam Man right about now. <laughs> Instead, I got Lazy Man. <laughs> Mustache man. You know, what, what they used to do in the day was just leave the pilot running all the time. Running well, off of what, kerosene or something? Or? Uh, well, I use hexane, but kerosene or gasoline. You try to use a low carbon fuel so it doesn't. Let's push it outside. Oh, you want to go all the way out? It seems to have. Uh, so I am lazy man. Typical dentist half measure there. <laughs> Show you what your engine looks like. It's yeah, which certainly doesn't look. Like any conventional engine. Two-cylinder compound, high compression, low compression, 40 horsepower. This is the only steam car that ever had a transmission. What are you airing up right now? What we're doing is we're pressurizing the uh, pilot tank fuel and the tank. fuel tank. Oh, yeah. Here's the part I never like. Oh. Jay with fire and flammable Yeah, what liquid. we do is, uh, no, this one doesn't backfire like the Stanley. <laughs> right, right, which almost took my mustache off once, I Yeah, I that's recall. right, that's right. I... It was unfortunate. And need I remind you that mustache wax is flammable? Not like the other ones. <laughs> I think that's what you told me with the other one. All right. Just like lighting a barbecue. We've got a little fire going in there. Can you see the fire in that hole? Oh, yeah, I can. That's your pilot. Uh, how about that other fire? Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, right. Some traveling music, please. Fire's getting bigger, Jay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. I do that just for Dennis. Yeah, <laughs> and I appreciate it. I don't even like the sound of it. Oh, that's We're going nicely now. Okay, there you go. And you got your pilot lit. Steam never caught on. Go figure. It did catch on. Well, it did. Don't forget, steam was 100 years old when this car came out. England was running steam coaches in 1803. Don't need that. <laughs> Throw that thing away. Yeah. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. What do you need that for? That foolish thing. Throw that as your asbestos underwear. What I'm doing now is I'm opening these. This gets all water out of the cylinders. Because when the car sits and cools, any steam that's in there turns into water. So you open those so it doesn't hydraulic. Learn something new every day, you know? Ooh. <laughs> Can you see massive amounts of gasoline going in there? You're, you're right. And is that vaporized gas? Yeah, it's vaporized gas. Oh, great. It's just like sitting there, right? And you're ready to go. What do you got, George? Steam yet? See, now I'm pushing water out of the cylinders. Oh, okay. We're gonna take the curl out of my mustache. 
Main fire is open. There's no gas engine this quiet in the period. No. And there you go. Now you're up for the rest of the day. It just kind of clicks along. You can make it real quiet if you want. And it's still going. It's going. Yeah. As long as it's spinning, it's going. That's pretty amazing. But that's, that's how quiet you are going down the road. And it actually has a transmission. Yeah. It's three speed? Two speed. Two speed? But once you get up to operating temperature, you just leave it in the high because you've got 800 foot pounds of torque. So, so it'll yeah. Yeah. Let's do let anything. Let's warm up a little bit. Let me grab a jacket. I think I'll do that too. We'll be back. Oh, you're sitting up here. Whoa. Let me see how quiet. Is that a foot operated horn? <laughs> All aboard. OK, you got a red needle, you got a black needle. Red needle is fire. The fire comes on and off automatically. When we hit 600 to 600 pounds, yeah. you'll see the fire go off. And we slip it into high. And off we go. <laughs> when you compare it to cars of the period, no clutch, no shifting, no mag, no choke. No electrical system to mess with, no battery. So you just kind of steer it. And All you do is you steer it, yeah. Now, as, as, the, as all the pipes get hot, I can keep closing the throttle and maintain the same speed. Wow. And are these, is that winker oil or, or some sort of oil? Yeah, those just your oil. That's your oil for your crankcase. You can pump some in there. Yeah. And this is, when you're climbing hills, you give it a couple of little dollops. And that goes into yeah. the that's steam oil? Yeah. <laughs> These run much hotter than a turtle combustion engine. Yeah. Turtle combustion engine is maybe 425 degrees. This is 650. 750, 800 is optimum. Now you see we're slowly, as all the pipes start to heat up and it gets warmer, it gets faster and faster. But you see it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, it is. And it's, again, it's... <laughs> but I take this to work, and it goes 60 on the freeway. That's got to be a sight. Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Were these, like, crazy expensive, though? This is about the same price as a Rolls Royce, $4,000, 1909. That was the world, man. That was a lot of money. And what they use for brakes? I mean, are they band brakes, or...? Band brakes, yeah, yeah. And that just stops okay. It does. Is it? You know, it's it's really uh, big, but is it that heavy? Um, it's not light, light. <laughs> it's probably thirty-eight hundred pounds. Yeah. Maybe but there's not a lot. I mean, the the engine isn't that heavy. No, no. But but you got a big, you know, big frame. You've big... got an enormous generator, you know, boiler, and you got a water tank, and you got a gas tank. You got steel fenders. It's funny because we're sitting here and I went, oh. It killed. I don't hear it. it well, you know, it this, killed. It, it this stopped. is really start-stop technology. You shut it, when you stop, the engine stops. You know, every car has that now. Well, not every car, but that's sort of the upcoming thing. When you come to a stoplight, the engine goes off, and as soon as you touch the gas, it restarts again. Well, that's what steam cars do. Because it's like it's off. Right. It is off. You see, you can accelerate pretty quickly, and that's in high gear. I mean, I'm pulling away from the light, <laughs> the same as a normal person yeah. would do. It's quite enjoyable to drive. Gas car scared horses and backfired. And so is that is that a driven pump that's pumping that yes. oil? Yes, exactly. Oh, that's got to freak people out. It's fun <laughs> to do it near the track. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite fast. Yeah, it is. It's kind of disconcertingly fast. Oh, it is. You're sitting so high. Can I get in that lane? Yeah. And it'll keep pulling and pulling. Power slides are tricky. <laughs> How big are the tires? I mean, they're... I think it's 
gonna get what a 27th? Yeah, at least. So as you can see, I mean it's it's pretty light front end because the engine's not particularly heavy. You really are sitting up here though. Oh, yeah. I mean this is yeah, it's like the Budweiser Clydesdale. It is. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing a team out front. You want to give it a try? Gosh, yeah, I'd love to. Remember, always close the throttle because the steam is more powerful than the brake. The throttle it closes that way. It, it's, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, man. You, sometimes you use this to start, but just open the throttle slowly. Try the brake. Which is? The middle one. No, I mean, I'm sorry, that one. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, thanks, go ahead. Jerry. No, go ahead. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> oh boy. Get in this lane. Oh, Am hang I on. clear? Yeah. You, you know, it yeah. steers a lot better than I thought it would. Get up the throttle a little bit. We're going this way? Yeah. Open it just there, close it. Get it off a little bit. All right, let me get the... Uh, all right, here we go. It's got power. Don't it does, and you don't open it much, and she takes off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine that feeling in 1910. Nothing compared to it. Now, you want to coast when you can, so you save speed. Now, there's no there's no slowdown. If I close that down, it doesn't resist, right? There's no, there's no compression braking, but you will slow down. Uh -huh. Might as well close your throttle and coast. All the way, eh? Yeah. Okay. Try your brake. You have a handbrake, too. Although I don't know where it is. Where is the handbrake, just in case? It's the outside one. No, not that one. Oh. It's this one here. Okay. You Good push to it know. forward. Go ahead, open the throttle. Okay, this is, this is a kick. It's kind of cool, isn't it? It is. I might come around with the steam thing after all. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I mean, you barely crack the throttle when you're going 35. I know. Everything's going quite smoothly. I think it's going very well. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. You know, I don't do this every day. It's kind of a new experience. OK. What, what, what? Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, all right, fine. All right. I went for that, you know, I like brakes. I'm just trying to- But it's to... deceptively powerful. It is. You can feel. And it also stops surprisingly well. I'm, yeah, it... not bad. Don't forget, we got, what, five guys in it? See, you're not even shifting. You're in high. You're pulling away in high gear. Amazing. And I'm not completely freaking out. I like that. You no, know, it's kind of fun. You can sure see everything. You can slow up, wait for the light to change, and then go left. Yeah, we'll switch over right here. All right, perfect. Will she set? Yeah, go ahead. Nope. I got the brake on. Right. I'd hate to back over a Corolla or something. For a but... pedestrian. <laughs> see how much torque you got. And what's the advantage, or what's the reason Yike! for that? Yeah. Uh, hang on. Give me a little push. Push the wheel forward. There you go. Hang on. Uh, let me see. Oh great, an 18 wheeler. Hop in before you get run over. I think I will. Do you need a push or not? I'll be all right. I think I'm a, anybody right behind me? I'm a top dead center. Try to give me a little push. Okay. There we go. There we go. Aha! <laughs> Hop in. I'm going. I love it. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics.
I'm cruising with Jay Leno under steam power on Dennis Gates' head motoring.